Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel of TCPIP. Now this channel is specifically designed for computer networking fundamentals and the TCPIP concept. So let's the agenda for today's. Today we are going to discuss about the background of the computer networking. Then we'll discuss the definition of computer network, then structure and components, then scenario before communication model. Then we'll discuss why layered approach is required and the reasons to get filled to the OS I will discuss. So let's start with the first one. In the old era, there were so many information gathering techniques available, but single computer used to serve all the services. But it is the case of old era, so it was possible to collect all the information or compute all the information with the single computer. But nowadays, social engineering, search engine, social networking, these are the so many of tracks available to collect the data, which is going to be very difficult to process by single computer. So then the computer and communication have been merged together to communicate and finally the researchers have thought that to create a communication model to connect different elements of the network so that the maximum information can be processed within a time so now the computer network are very important to the globalization of today as the world evolving to the advanced planet of information technology one of the main factor leading to rising the information technology in the world is networking and data exchange. Since the advancement of technology is not just on device, but also on the system. So networking starting a long ago by ARPANET nearly 1957. So this is what the background and why the computer networks are required. So everybody's in the world are now connected globally. So they are, it is easy to uh, interconnect or it is easy to communicate among all the one it is possible because of computer networking now then we'll discuss the what do you mean by computer network so it means the interconnection set of some devices such as computers and the printers apart from this we can say a set of data processing nodes that are interconnected for the purpose of data communication so data processing is must but data processing cannot never be handled by only single node so it is going to be a collaborative work in the large group of computer system and the other computer hardware that links together through communication channel to felicitate the services. So another definition will be a set of data processing nodes that are interconnected for the purpose of data communication. So data communication nowadays is very important. And data communication, we have a face-to-face -face communication, we have positive communication that is very required. Then there are a few purposes of the company network like data sharing, Data sharing, let's say files, databases, etc., etc., can be shared. Resource sharing, the printers, the online compilers, and many of resources are going to be shared online nowadays, like a cloud computing environment. The network security, uh, security is going to be provided with the help of networking to provide to avoid unauthorized users' access. The remote access, the everybody can access their resources from the remote places nowadays, like a remote uh, remote remote app tools let's say putty team viewers etc etc are logging also there then interactive entertainment nowadays cable tv hotstar netflix these are the entertainments are available games are available so it is possible because of the networking then user communication we are chatting we are communicating everywhere in the world so this is also possible this is only possible because of the computer network so apart from this there are so many purposes are available but these are the main ones moving to the next slide we'll discuss about the components and the structure of the network how the network is looks like and how network is built up the very first element we can see the host and host it is a, it can be a sender it can be receiver or any intermediate node. so where the information is going to be sent and where uh, from which the information is going to be sent and where it is going to be sent sender and receiver then subnet the uh, size of the network will be very large because nowadays every everyone is connected together so size is very large so in order to keep a track of that network so the network is divided into subnet so small small size of networks are collected together this is also one kind of element then next would be a transmission line transmission line is what the physical connections that is guided or unguided okay like say it's a coaxial cable fiber optic cables etc etc second would be a switching lines and elements this is very important also then connecting devices, connecting devices like the hub, repeater, switches, routers, browsers, gateway, etc., etc. Because these are the connecting devices are very much required. Without connecting devices, no one can uh, uh, 
come together to communicate okay so this is what the very important then message data and packets this is the key element actually what what we are going to send that is required and the last element is very important element that is a protocol where in in in, in absence of the protocol we cannot communicate where the protocol comprises of three terms syntax semantics and timing we'll discuss these three terms syntax semantic timing in let like next video do please do watch that video also syntax prefer what are the constant what is the format uh, the semantics is what the meaning the, supposed to be followed and then the timing with the specific timing that message supposed to be sent from the source to the destination next will be the networking criteria there are three criteria reliability performance and security so first of all reliability so reliability is depend upon the accuracy in delivery accuracy accuracy in the delivery of the messages second would be frequency failure must be less so if there is a network and the network is going going fell so it is supposed to be very less uh, frequency of failure is supposed to be very less recovery time of the link let's say the network fails the link fails so if how, how many time that network is going to take the to recover that from that particular failures so it's supposed to be very less then robust in disaster if the network collapse in disaster if it is going to happen so so it is going to be very robust it is supposed to be very robust so that it is going to be cope up with that disaster also then second parameter would be performance there are so many parameters are available for the performance there are how many number of users are connected the type of transmission media is there guided and unguided okay nowadays the uh, fiber optic cables are going to be used the speed is very high then efficiency of software and hardware so it is very important what type of softwares are available what's the platform of hardware is available response time and transit time response time is supposed to be less because this is the first response first this is the first time when i am i am starting my uh, what we can say the computation what we, it's the communication and transit time what the time required from sending to the receiver and the last one is the security protecting data from the unauthorized user so these are the main criteria for the computer networking then we will discuss the basic term that communication was a transmission the transmission uh, is a physical movement of information and concern issues like beat polarity synchronization clock etc whereas in communication it means the meaningful exchange of information between two communication media so meaningful information is exchange of meaningful information is very focused keyword so we are going to discuss about this communication part throughout our, throughout this our subject transmission is of broadcast nature whereas communication is what no, not broadcast nature transmission is there is no mid feedback mechanism whereas in communication there is a feedback the feedback can be positive and feedback can be negative here in transmission both the object need to be present at the same time but in a communication both the object need not to be present at the same both sorry uh, in transmission both the object need not be present at the same time but here in communication both the object need to be present at same time without presence of both the object communication never can be happen here protocol will be difficult uh, different and in the communication protocol is common let's an example of this particular transmission communication if uh, uh, some person is talking with the other person face to face so that person though both the persons are talking to each other having the exchange of thoughts having the exchange of some uh, what you can say information they gives their reply positive negative reply but if let's say if teacher is teaching the uh, teacher is teaching and teacher te uh, teaching to the class at time uh he teaching to the everybody but out of that uh some might, might be it is possibility that ki all the students are not going to be taking that information but the role of the teacher is what to broadcast the information to all the world so that the student get benefited okay this is what the example then we'll discuss the uh, stand, uh without standard communication model so this diagram shows the, uh, the earlier era of uh, communication model where we can see this uh, box square box we can say where there is no any layered structure there is no any partitions are available so what hap what what is going to be happen with this one so every every services are going to be provided by this magical box so if this is the case let's say zeros and ones are here the wire also is connected over here the applications also over here encryption addressing of the server sending messages checking errors all are things going to be provided by a single this what we can say the magical box but what is going to be happen if everything is going to be unstructured so unstructured leads to be the chaos of everything so it is going to be very tedious to analyze to identify all the services all the mechanisms available over here 
it is going to be very difficult to track at all okay uh, track it, it so this is what the drawback where we we cannot identify everything is in individual manner so it is going to be very tedious chaosful networking so to remedy this one so they come up the ideas with the layered approach now wh- why layered approach is required to make the design process easy by breaking into the smaller layer and the task so it is beneficial to divide the task into smaller smaller area then will be the modularity and clear interface second will be ensure independency of the layer so that modification changes may not be affected by other layers so if the changes occur in one layer so it is not going to be affect for the other layers interoperability for exchange of all the services information greater compatibility in hardware and software next will be better flexibility and the last one is the portability the layered networking protocol are much easier to port from one system or architect- system or architecture to the others so these are the plenty of benefits are available where if the structure is layered so it is going to be very easy to all the things like a testing debugging etc etc so moreover layered approach is very very important and next we'll discuss the reasons of osi model failures so here the growth of lan and internet was not foreseen by the developer of the osi model it is a reference model not implemented so it is going to be very reference model it is not implemented at as where tcp ip model have implemented now it is more complex model then the complexity of standard was not foreseen then there was a bad timing while the development of osi model tcp have stolen all the ideas and tcp come up with the implementation model bad technology like layers are more political than technicals documentation and layers are complex error flow and flow control services are duplicated and data link layer and uh, transport layer it is a bad implementation and it's also a bad policies so these are the reason that osi got failed so thank you thank you guys for watching this video